We're finding a lot of organizations looking, re-looking at purpose. So what's your view of what should a CEO be doing to link leadership with purpose? Let me first talk about the millennial talent. They don't want to work for a company which is just working for profits. So, so for the sake of that talent and retaining that talent, CEOs have to move and balance yeah. with profitability. And, and of course, boards are also focusing on this and uh, shareholders are focusing on this. That's good news. So purpose is higher order beyond just selling your product, marketing your product. Can you do something else? For example, when I was in Airtel, one of the purpose was to take telephony in each village of this country. Now, that's a higher order purpose. Yeah. Of course, if we have a good mo business model, profitable model, we'll make money also. But getting to five, uh, half a million villages, I think was a very, very important purpose. So this applies to every business. And how do you see organizations taking a purpose, for the example that you gave? Healthcare seems to be another uh, part of the world today where we find uh, leaning towards purpose-driven organizations. What should a CEO do to actually help the leadership team and the rest of the organization relate, accept, and, and drive that purpose, right? So it's no longer just a job that an individual is doing. It's a job to achieve that purpose. What can a CEO do to drive that within the leadership team or the rest of the organization? No, clearly the CEO has to choose that purpose along with his senior team. Once you choose the purpose, because they're you can do hundreds of things. You can't do hundred things. You should not digress your limited uh, budget into so many things. So it's better to do one big thing. And if CEO and the leadership team selects that one big thing, it could be education, could be healthcare, you pick up a big issue and then really invest. Work closely with government, work closely with your partner ecosystem, your vendors, your dealers should also see the same purpose. So your employees, everyone sees the same purpose, they all contribute to it in a small way. And then it becomes a company purpose. But there's one aspect of a social purpose and there's an aspect of the purpose of the company, right? And the social aspect, you've, you've been profound on that. What about the company purpose of what they're trying to drive? Whether that's right from profitability to, um, to making an impact on the economy, making an impact in the education sector. How would a CEO drive the internal purpose from a yeah, corporate so that's standpoint? The, that's the mission, mission of the business and that mission has to be beyond profitability. For example, uh, a, a high quality service which delights the customer is the, is the mission. Now, how to first undertake that service, make it delightful so the customers feel happy about it, but do it in a profitable way. So that's the challenge CEOs and leadership teams have. So achieving the purpose, but achieving it in a profitable way is the challenge. And sometimes it's tough, sometimes it's easier. But, but frankly, even if it is tough, you need to do that. So rather than shortcut the product or shortcut the service and make it less than satisfactory is not the way to be out. Way out is make it delightful, get the cost efficiency, get the productivity, achieve your profit goals. So it is a win-win.